girls and guys, it's Presley, and today it's been a while since I've made a how to wear a mask video, so that basically this is a part three on how to wear a mask. And if those of you who are new to my channel who don't know on my how to wear a mask series, part one talks about how a lot of people aren't wearing their masks properly, they wear it in all different ways and stuff, they just just don't know how to properly put it on. Part two talks about people who just don't like to wear masks, who just just don't want to put it on and pretend like everything's normal and there's nothing going nothing going on. And part three, part three right now is going to be a bit similar to part two. It's going to be about anti-maskers. I'm all for support groups and any support group for goodwill, but this, anti-maskers, you have got to be shitting me. I've never heard something so ridiculous, so absurd in my whole entire life other than anti-maskers. Like, it's like these people just don't care about their surroundings. They don't care if people are sick, if people are going to get sick. They're just being like, eh, I'm just going to pretend like nothing ever happened. There's no virus going around. I'm just going to go to the grocery store, ignore the ignore the signs on how to put on, put on a mask. And I'm just going to go to the grocery store because some fancy pair of shoes are on clearance for 50% off. I know, I thought of that, about, uh, about that on, on the top of my head. I know, it's ridiculous, but hey, bear with me here, please. Please, for the love of God. Anyway, anti-maskers. Some are rude, absurd, selfish, who just don't give a flying fuck about all those people around them that are dying, who have the COVID right now, and just, just don't care about wearing something so simple, so simple that they just want to make it so hard. They want to make everything hard in their lives. But this is the most simplest thing you could ever do to, to per excuse me, to prevent yourself from at least having a deadly virus that's going to at least probably kill you. But they don't care. Some of these anti-maskers just don't care. They just want to live their lives. As if nothing happened. They see a person who is coughing really bad and they just turn a blind eye and just go on with their lives. And isn't that the most craziest thing I've you've ever heard of in your entire life? People who just see other people who have the coronavirus just not caring like it is the most weirdest thing i ever heard of in my whole entire life some people even do crazy things with their masks now i see people who don't wear masks properly but this takes it to the whole level of extreme some people grab these medical doctor's masks and cut a hole where it exposes their nose and mouth and then they put it on with their nose and their mouth exposed from the damaged, torn up medical mask and just go on with their day. It's ridiculous considering that they can put on a mask but they want to expose their nose and mouth like they want to ignore the rules and uh, public safety stuff around what's going on here. Like, COVID is not going away. Not yet, at least, until we get everything sorted out. Hospitals are full to an extent. A lot of patients are crammed up into one building, possibly having the De most deadly virus and some of them 
are dying. Need of medical help and ventilators so they can breathe. Anti-maskers just be like, oh, no, whatever, just, uh, just brush it off. Just, just go outside. Just don't put on a mask. Just ignore everyone else. Like, grab. I, if you don't have, if you're an anti-masker and you don't have a COVID, the COVID, excuse me, if you don't have the COVID, go out to Walmart or any like workout place. Grab yourself a dumbbell, put it on your chest and see how it feels. How it feels to struggle how to breathe. Like you're struggling how to breathe while that dumbbell is sitting on your chest possibly suffocating you. And you'll realize what tons of people are going through, struggling how to breathe and having congested, congesting, a lot of coughing, sneezing. And I bet it hurts real bad because I had the COVID once. Several months ago, I had the COVID in late October, I had the COVID, mild symptoms, loss of sense of taste and smell, and shortness of breath. And the shortness of breath is no fun. Like, it felt hard trying to breathe. Breathing is so simple, yet when a deadly virus enters your stream, it makes it so hard and so painful that you need technology to help you breathe. And I feel awful because I've had mild symptoms and I'm glad that I'm not, I'm not dead because I don't wanna die. I'm afraid of dying, but these anti-maskers don't care. And if you're an anti-masker watching this video, Please, at least, take this advice. Ignore the noise in the background because there's a lot of things going on in my house. But anyway, please put on a mask. It'll at least save some lives, some lives, and makes the, it'll make things a lot easier for your life. It won't make things harder. You don't have to go out into a gym and put a dumbbell on your chest to see how it feels trying to breathe. But hey, just at least take this advice. Put a mask on. Sanitize your hands. Just do the best you can to at least prevent any more casualties because we don't want any more people dying here. We want to at least keep a lot of people safe, happy, and not sad, miserable, and almost to the brink of death. Please, for the love of God. And if you're watching this, and if you're a subscriber watching this right now, please go out there and find an anti-masker and please just give them a mask. And if they don't have one, or if their mask is torn up, give them a fresh one, please. Please, at least do that. Anyway, I might as well end this video here. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And let's make sure this channel reaches 100 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.